This is a final little update on the pairs versus singles testing I have done. I put them all, all those cells through my Opus charger on the refresh mode that it has, which cycles the cell three times through a charge discharge and then gives you a final capacity reading, which gives us a wee bit more uh, data to go on and gives us a sense of how it might operate in a slightly longer term scenario. Uh, and the other thing that I did was I this time I discharged at half an amp rather than one amp that I did for the first discharge. And here's the data. The, the two red cells which got warm when I was originally charging them still crap. And uh, the orange cells are only 1% divergent. The green cells are only 1% divergent. The blue cells are only 3% different from each other. The two violet cells were only 1% apart from each other. And the grey cells, 0%. They're virtually the same. And the pink cells, also 0%. So they seem to be settling down to become even more similar when they're split up than the first time I discharged them. So this to me seems pretty clear that when you're dealing with a pair of cells that have lived their whole life together as a pair, they've never been in series, they've, uh, since the day they were manufactured they would have been shipped off to the laptop manufacturer where they would have been paired up pretty quickly and they lived all of their charging discharging life wired in parallel and when you separate them they stay very similar so pairs pairs are still fine you do not need to separate cells you can if you want but you do not need to there's no divergence between the cells uh, that you need to worry about. All right, so I hope that's been interesting for you. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Cheers.